reserve the right to uh, change the bridge points. Okay. Want to comment on the thought process behind that and the future of that? No. <laughs> um, when we develop a game, as I mentioned earlier, we get one chance to beta test it, and that is week zero. We want to try to be as fair as we possibly can, and believe me, we have long, long discussions on point values. How much should autonomous be worth? How much should you know, uh, regular baskets be worth? How much should the, the, um, the balancing robots be worth at the end? You know, we look at the game basically in three different sections. You know, the beginning, 15 seconds, autonomous hybrid, you know, the main part of the game, the teleop period, and then something exciting at the end. We always try to figure out, is there some way that you can end up doing something Hail Mary-ish to change the potential outcome of the game if you do something really cool and really different? And we weren't sure about the balancing. You know, was it going to be too much? Was it going to be not quite enough? Are we going to have teams trying to do you know, three robots balancing? And believe me, there was enough skepticism in GDC based on the size of the bridge as to whether we could successfully have three full-size robots. And we took one or three of our robots and carefully managed to bring them up on the bridge, all three of them. Now, they weren't all 100% on the bridge, but they were all legal, and we were able to pull off a, a score with three robots, three full-size robots. And part of our thought process was we're looking for diversity of robots. We don't want to have all the robots be exactly alike. That it's important that you know we have people start thinking out of the box on things. So, Getting back to your question, as far as giving us the, the reserving the right to change the uh, balancing points, we thought that let's make sure that we're being fair to the teams when we do get to the championship, that if we did have something wrong, that we told teams up front that we may change something. And there was enough skepticism and concern internally that we wanted to get it right. Yeah. And the other, um, the other component to that, and Bill's absolutely right, we just weren't sure, um, but the other component to that is that the gameplay changes throughout the season too. And so that scoring might have been perfect for earlier in the season before teams had experience um, that teams in week four, five, and six may have. And so heading into championship, the game could have changed and evolved and that scoring may be irrelevant at that point too. So it was very much that we just weren't sure but also that we expected the gameplay to shift enough that we might have to adjust things to accommodate, you know, the championship level play. And I think the bottom line is keeping the end game exciting. So that we reserved it for that too. Okay, does that answer your question? Okay. I have a few comments and then a question. First, okay. the real-time scoring is wonderful. It really makes a huge difference in how the crowd sees the game. And I, I encourage you to continue doing something like that. Okay. And Thank you. it's also great that you're upfront about, hey, we're not sure about all this stuff. You're at a disadvantage. We, we have you know, many weeks to play the game and figure out how to play it. So that's okay. Um, the second comment is about bumpers. <laughs> okay. We, 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 need, we need something different. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I don't have a good answer. I've been thinking about it, but I think the rules as written are perfect. I completely understood them. We built... So do I. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? We're both engineers, and that's not typical of the population. So um, in Spectrum today, even here at Championships, there were so many people who didn't have bumpers or had problems with their bumpers that, that caused them to be drilling plywood here. All right. Yeah, before you go, I'll, I'll just go, I'll address that really quickly. Um, so, about the middle of May, we're going to kick off a task force of a couple of game design people, robot inspectors, and, you know, mentors from teams. Um, we are going to try and keep it a small group, but we're trying to make it a, a, a diverse group um, to basically look at, at bumpers from the ground up. And, and, you know, if that means a complete overhaul of how it's done, then so be it. But, but it is a problem that we we see and we are going to address. So Bill's blog, middle of May, I think is, is kind of when we'll see that kick off. Fantastic, thank you. Um, the thing I want to talk about is field issues. Now we, I, I'm not going to go so far as to say there's a problem with the field. I'm going to go so far as to say there's a problem with our robot when it gets on the field. We've been having terrible problems and it's very reproducible. We're not sure what the issue is. We've had some of the best minds in first look at it and walk away with their head scratching. What we need is a, 
a source of information on how every, the communications build on the field, how this whole works. Um, we don't need the details of, of the proprietary things so people can sneak in there and do nefarious things. We're just looking for something that, and, and I think every team would probably benefit from knowing what is it really that this field management system is doing with these robots so that they have a better idea in their code that they can avoid gotchas. Great, great point. And let's see, going back to the bumpers, we, b believe me or not, <clears throat> as I've gone out and talked to teams and talked to mentors at the different regions, that was the number one concern, the number one issue. And that's part of the reason why we decided like, about a month ago to start this committee to try to see if we can solve that. Now, we don't know what the solution is going to be. We may have to work on it for a while to get it to be where it really is going to be really, really good. But we're going to try some things differently. And hopefully, you know, with your feedback, you know, we're going to fix this thing. Going back to your last point about the, um, the control system, field management system interface, we're considering doing some sort of a white paper over the summer to try to explain to all of the teams the interactions of the field management system. I'm not going to promise anything, but we're, we're, we're looking to hopefully do something like that with the intent being there seems to be a lot of misinformation, a lot of magical things that people think we do with the robot or don't do with the robot or, you know, with the communication systems. So the hope is that sometime this summer that we'll be able to answer, if not all of your questions, at least a big chunk, and then as we get more, more questions, we'll try to fix those too. Okay. So um, my background is... Um as far as the, the control system and the field management system is, um, I'm not a programmer and I'm not an electrical engineer, but I am a first technical advisor and I am a member of the control system team that we work with um, weekly uh, on, on all of that system, right? It's, it's a system of two parts. You have the field management system and then you have the control system, but they're very closely interrelated. Um, and our objective is to do as much as we can um, to make the way a robot behaves on in your shop or on the practice field exactly the way it would behave on the existing field and we're not there yet but that is absolutely an objective that we as a control system team have um, and are working on in fact Colin and I had to leave the control system championship meeting to come here um, and one of the things that we have been talking about um, for a while and and this sounds like a no-brainer so I'm sorry if, if you're kind of th saying why how is this new but one of the things that we're focusing on for the 2013 season, and we've already started, is focusing really on the user experience of the control system, which is very closely related to the field management system and how it behaves on the field. And so um, that comes down to documentation, tutorials, which is kind of the easier stuff to address, maybe. It's a lot of information to get across, so I don't mean to demean that task. But another part is diagnostics, both for teams and also for the FTAs, which is near and dear to my heart, because one of the one of the worst experiences I can have as an FTA is, I know your robot died on the field. I know it wasn't the field. It, we didn't turn you off. We didn't. We didn't do anything to that. But I, I can't tell you what happened. Oftentimes you can. You know, you see the battery unplugged, or you see. You know, I mean, oftentimes depending on the the depth of experience you have, you you can troubleshoot things pretty quickly on the field. But um, so as part of that kind of user experience theme for 2013. Diagnostics is going to be a big part of that as well, and and I think, and frankly, I do think that we did a lot coming from 2011 to improve the diagnostics um, with the, the the charts tab and you know some of the feedback that comes from there uh, and the dashboard program and the smart dashboard. So there there are things that we have done, but we're uh, please know that we are, are even more committed to that than I don't know. It's not that we were never committed to it, but it's just in much more prioritized, much more in front of us, and and we're trying really hard not to get distracted from that objective of of really improving that user experience because that's important and, and what you guys pay for. Um, and we also have uh, built up our staff since since last year too. Um, we have Kevin O'Connor, who's our new robotics engineer. Um, and I don't know if you've met him, but he's wonderful. If you know him, say hi. Oh, we, we have some Kevin fans. <laughs> So, um, so, so as we kind of, you know, beef up our resources um, and, and I guess build, we'll, we'll be able to address that problem in a, in a, in a better way and more effective way. So I, I don't know if that answers your question, but I hope it helps.